Hello my quilting friends, my name is Leah Day and I have a new pantograph design for you guys. This is the Daisy Loops pantograph. It does come in two different sizes, but the one I prepared here is a very narrow one and that is specifically designed for quilting on a home sewing machine. I've also taken this design and it is available as a quilt panel. This is available on Spoonflower. It is called the Daisy Loop Spring Flowers Quilt Panel. You can search it on Spoonflower, but I will have a link below the video. And we are going to stitch this together today. I'm going to stitch on the marked lines on the quilt panel, but at the end of the video, I'm going to give you some tips for using a paper pattern like this when you're quilting in a row and how to get that lined up just exactly right with your laser light setting the pantograph at the back of your machine. So let's get started stitching daisy loops together. So here I am on the design and I'm stitching around and around that center circle. Circles are tricky and they're hard to get exactly perfect. That's why I just threw some extra thread at it. And especially if you're stitching this as a panto, I would advise that. Make it look intentionally messy rather than trying to stitch a perfect circle and it's going to end up looking great. You'd also fill it with little circles if you wanted to or a spiral, totally up to you. And so once you do that, then you just simply bounce around these little petals. So it's kind of like a spiral. It spirals out from the center and then we come back in and we just kind of tap against that and then we swing into our loops. Very, very, very simple. Now to control the speed of my machine, I am using a speed controller. This is not a stitch regulator. It's running the machine at a set speed. Now, what I have to do when using this is I have to try and keep my hands moving at a slow and steady rate, pretty much matching the speed set by the controller. Now I can put my thumb right next to the dial and I can kind of roll it up, like there I just sped up a little bit, or I can roll it down and slow down, just depending on what I'm doing. So I have a little bit of control here just as I'm quilting, but generally I just try and set it on a certain speed and then I try and match my hands to it. And then if I see that my stitchers are getting too big, they're just looking longer than I like, that's when I bump up my speed on the speed controller. I just roll that knob, that dial, over to the right and I increase my speed a little bit. And then I can go a little bit faster and knock out these daisies just a little bit quicker. So I'm using a speed controller for now. I do plan to put a Sure Stitch Elite on my frame, on my home sewing machine soon. I'll be doing a build video on that. So definitely be looking forward to that. So now that we have seen how the Daisy Loops Panograph works, how you're gonna stitch it, kind of your stitching pad, let's see how it would work if you were stitching this as a paper pantograph. So I've advanced my quilt. I'm ready to stitch through this section. And what I'm gonna do is just push my machine over so that it is in the lower uh, right hand corner of my area. And now I'm gonna go over here and I have a Gracie laser attached. Actually, you can't see that because it's too far away from my camera. So I'm just gonna pretend like this is the edge here. So basically lower right hand corner with my needle. And then I've got my Gracie laser right here attached. And I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna shoot my pantograph. You wanna make sure the blue line is on the bottom and the red line is on the top. That's how it's meant to be oriented. And now I'm going to just center this. So I'm placing my machine right here on the edge, shifting the pantograph so it's roughly in the middle. And then I'm gonna roll the machine towards me or back and shift the pantograph again. So what I'm aiming for is making sure that in this space, the pantograph is centered. And you might even wanna mark a midline that might actually end up helping you. Looks like I'm still, let's see here, there's one edge and there's the other edge. Looks like I need to shift up. And so this is not a perfect situation by any means. You know, you're gonna have to just play this shifty kind of game until you're happy with the location. But once you're happy with it, go on ahead and grab some tape. I just use this half inch or quarter inch blue masking tape 
and I place a piece of tape on it. That way it's going to ensure that the pantograph is not going to move. It's going to stay where it's meant to be. Now I'm going to roll the machine further down. And here's the thing with a hoop frame. A hoop frame can, you can load this half, you know, off. It doesn't have to be straight to the rails. It's dependent upon your hooping and how straight your hooping was. So this is really important to roll your machine down and go on ahead and do that centering process again here all the way down at the end, making sure that your pattern is straight to your quilt. All right, so what I mean by that is I have this space and I want to quilt this space with my pantograph. I wanna make sure that the paper taped to the back is centered up here. And the only thing that I can use to really guide me is my laser light. Once you set your laser light in place, don't move it as you're shifting this back and forth. The only thing that can really move in this case, the quilt's fixed, the laser light's fixed. The only thing we're shifting is the pantograph. Once you get it into position, tape it down so it's not gonna move and everything's gonna work right. But it will only work right for the space, that particular space that you just played with and made sure that it was centered up exactly. Uh, understand that this is gonna be something you're gonna have to do for each space, especially when you're in hoop frame mode on this frame. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I would use the Daisy Loops pantograph on this frame and also our Daisy Loops Spoonflower fabric. If you like this idea of having the fabric printed with the design, please let me know in the comments below and I will make up many more colors and varieties because this was a lot of fun and fairly easy for me to do. So I had a great time making this video and sharing it with you. If you'd like to find my pantograph designs to be able to download, cut them out and tape them together and be able to use them on your home sewing machine or long arm, they are mix and match pantographs. You can make them any size that you need. You can find them at leahday.com slash panto. Until next time, let's go quilt.